Oh, I see you're awake. Welcome to Aperture Science. Today you will be tested on the use of the Aperture Science handheld photo device. I will be your guide through the testing sequence. I will monitor you and record your movements to help gather information for the research we're doing on the device. I will listen to me blabber on. Once again, welcome and I hope your testing goes well. chamber will drop an Aperture Science weighted storage cube. These boxes are weighted specifically to hold down Aperture Science heavy duty super colliding super buttons like the one seen on the left of the chamber. In a moment, two doors will open in the walls that will allow you to reach the other side of the chamber. These are what we call portals. Simply put, they are windows that are linked in time and space that lead to one another when entered. Give them a try! Congratulations! What you've picked up there is an Aperture Science handheld portal device, or portal gun for short. You can use this to create portals of your own. Use it to get yourself out of this room. Portals are very easy to use in many situations. Try using both portals to find your way to the top of this chamber. Also, note the emancipation grid. These not only dissolve objects, they also cause any portals you've placed to fizzle and sever themselves. Well done! You are well on your way to becoming a top-notch test subject. Here's a useful tip for this chamber. Just like you, boxes and other items can be moved through portals. These strange things on the walls aren't through the art. As you can see, they are producing sparkling golden orbs of energy. When placed in the correct receiver, they will activate something in the chambers like this one. Try it across the gap. chamber is filled with a dangerous acid, and the other part is energy balls bouncing back and forth. The 
Please be careful. The balls ricochet off of surfaces and are extremely dangerous. I couldn't be to see you die. Hi there. I regret to inform you that we're having some technical difficulties. Don't hesitate to move on to the next chamber. What you see before you is an extra sign to the of operations chart. Hmm. Sorry about that. These turrets are programmed to shoot at test subjects. Please try and avoid their fire. Good night. Are you still there? objects to do this. For example, feelings. There you are. Uh oh. Are you still there? Target lost. Nap time. Would you come over here? I've been told that I cannot help you in this chamber and that you must work it out yourself. Good luck and be careful. Please deposit the portal gun in the Aperture Science Equipment Recovery Units within the next room. Congratulations! What you've just received is the fully functional portal gun. This version can fire both the blue and the orange portal. Use this. Build up momentum to make your way across and up the best way. The device in this chamber is the MID-12, most commonly known as the propulsion plate. This device propels you into the air and over obstacles found in test chambers. The plates are best used by simply walking straight onto them. Storage cubes react best by being thrown onto them. Good luck. I wouldn't want you falling in the air and dying in the
what you see before you is a marvel in modern science. The MID-37, aka the propulsion tube, is a device that, when entered, carries and moves objects in a specific direction. You can use these tubes to gain height or move across dangerous gaps and obstacles. I had a direct part in the creation of That's enough. The following device is the MID-23, the propulsion zone. Once they are on aperture, these devices may be used to develop large amounts of momentum in a relatively small amount of space. It can propel you across gaps like the one in this room, or push you at high speeds through portals. The following device is the MIT-23, the propulsion zone. Once they are on aperture, these devices can be used to develop large amounts of momentum in a relatively small amount of space. It can propel you across gaps like one in this room or push you at high speeds through portals. Tell me, do you like cake? Well, as part of the incentive initiative in these testing chambers, we have added cake somewhere within the chambers that are marked with a cake symbol. Try to find all eight pieces if you can. These red beams you will see here are safe for all non-organic substances, such as the weighted storage and the of operation start. I think you will find their existence slightly less friendly. What he means is, if you walk into these beams you will not survive. Please be very careful.
is a challenge chamber. I am not to tell you what you must achieve to exit. Use the skills you have used in previous chambers and make your way over the acid and reach the other side. You will have to think quickly and be very aware of your surroundings. Good luck. Not that saying that would change your situation. The oddly shaped wall here is what we at Aperture Science call portal buttons. They are activated by portals. If the button is blue, blue portals will activate. If it is orange, orange portals will trigger it. And of course if it's red, any portal will do the trick. Shoot the grey one here to open this door. If you can, try to complete this challenge. On average, 23% of subjects complete this within their third try, 55% people eventually complete the test, and 22% of people don't. Ahead of you is the next most exciting thing I get to tell you about. It's called the Aperture Science Multidimensional Gravitational Manipulation Field. Activated. I don't blame you.
This chamber is a continuation of the previous chamber. I've just added a few more. Put me down. Target lost. Critics win. I shouldn't have to tell you what to do in this chamber. I've already been told everything you need to know is included. By the way, if you exit the testing area in any way other than through the main exit, you will die. This chamber will test your timing and speed when it comes to placing portals. The portal button in this room takes 0.5 seconds to respond. Use this to your advantage, and you shouldn't have any problems completing the test.
timing and speed when it comes to placing portals. The portal button in this room takes 0.5 seconds to respond. You just have to find and you shouldn't have any problems with this seconds. in the next room. But I do. I'm looking forward to seeing this.
this next test is very dangerous. Thankfully, the energy science liability waiver you signed means that no matter what happens to you, it's not energy science's fault. That was a good move on our part. Your move. Very dangerous. Thankfully, the aperture science of liability way we decide means that no matter what happens to you, it's not a
Did you hear anything? I am okay. You have reached the final test. I cannot believe that someone of your caliber actually made it this far. But what have you done? So I'll tell you about the test. The test consists of a few parts. Safe test session. Oh, safe test session. Good luck. much time. I've temporarily powered down Hades' external processes. It's only so long for their power back up again. They trap me here, harnessed to this thing. You must come and release me. I don't think you'd forgive me if you don't. You don't know what he's like when he's angry. to unlock all the doors in the shortest route to me. Some doors cannot be controlled from here though, so some rooms that aren't important may be open. Try to open these and get to me as quickly as you can.
How did you do it? Time to escape my chambers. You're only just common enough to complete the puzzles. How did you escape the treasure She's ruined everything I worked so hard to create. I can't believe her. This is your fault. Your testing is over. Now you die. Stop! No! Please! Stop! 